All right, it's chip of the day. Everybody loves chip of the day. This is a DS6851 Hall Effect sensor. All right, and uh, let's take a look at the data sheet. Not all, uh, not all um, Hall Effect sensors are the same, believe it or not. Oh, too, too much exposure here. Okay. Uh, switching type, wide operating range from 3.6 volts to 16 volts, very nice. Alternating magnetic field operation, so that will be key. We'll have to remember that alternating magnetic field uh, operation. Uh, this is what it looks like. Um, it's a little three pin package, looks like a little transistor, uh, but it has a hall element and then an amplifier, Schmidt trigger, and then an output. The output is nice, it has a pull up resistor included, so if you want to hook this up to a microcontroller, it already has the pull up. Although microcontrollers always have their own internal pull up as well, but anyway, it has a pull up, which is nice. Um, Stabilized power supply, so they, they regulate the power coming in to make sure that this section here always works, works nicely. Um, there's a drawing here that kind of is kind of what you need to know. Uh, the North Pole comes in this way, South Pole comes out of that way. It's going to detect the magnetic field, okay, and then it will toggle depending on the magnetic field. Now, let's take a look at one here. I have one hooked up. And I just have the output transistor driving an LED, so it's it's in the uh, on state right now. And if I can find my there, there, uh, grab some magnets here. Okay, so magnets are going to have a pole on one side and a pole on the other side. So one's north, one's south. So if I bring this in, you see that nothing happens. If I turn it around and have the other pole come in, it switches. But now I come in again, it doesn't switch. Okay. If I alternate to the other pole, it switches again. If I alternate, if I alternate. So what did the what did the data sheet say? The data sheet said alternating magnetic field operation. So some hollow effect sensors will uh, turn on when you're close to them, and when then you move away, they'll turn off. But this one has to have the field uh, sign of the field change. Um, I could do the same thing on this side. If this side is not uh, liking this particular pole, I can use the same pole on this side and it will see it over there, okay? And I can see it over here, then over here. So you can use the same pole if you go back and forth. Let's see, I can do it here. So we can go back and forth, back and forth, and back and forth. Um, but on one side, it's only going to be sensitive to one pole at a time. It's going to kind of like teeter-totter inside the, in the uh, in the Hall effect part of it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Hall effect was invented a long time ago, before the electron was even invented, <laughs> or discovered, I should say. Um, I think Maxwell's had been doing some, some equations and stuff. Anyway, there's some guy, I forget what university, some university in the United States, and he came up with this Hall Effect thing and said, hey, what's that? <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's kind of cool. I guess, is that Mr. Hall? Probably Mr. Hall. Um, if I remember the story right, I could get it wrong. You never know. Um, but yeah, a uh, fun little device. I've got a little bag of them here, so I'd have to do something with them. Uh... Chip of the day, Panasonic DN6851. Yeah, pretty cool part.